So, Lone Rider here, and I just wanted to throw something out there, very briefly, and that is that Fortnite sucks. Now, I'm not talking about the video game itself. It might be a good video game. But the effect it's having on the ability of people to do basic internet searches about historical arms and armor sucks. Uh... Here's what I mean. If you're like me and you've ever done a search for, let's say, flintlocks, one of the things you'll notice is that in the last few weeks, most of the stuff that comes up isn't actually about flintlocks. It's about Fortnite. Apparently there's a uh, flintlock pistol used in the video game, and that is a lot of your search results. And it would be bad enough if that was interspersed with the search results that are actually about flintlocks, about their history, about cleaning them, about how to use them, about how they work, uh, the different types, etc. That would be bad enough. Because you're not, after all, searching about flintlocks in Fortnite. You're just searching about flintlocks. Um, but it, it's not just that these are interspersed with your search results, and there's, you know, even though you didn't ask for them, you didn't search for them, they just, you know, you have to scroll down pages and pages and you know most of it is Fortnite stuff and then there's like one or two actual videos about flintlocks uh it's that they're the first results you get and the vast majority of the results you get and they just go on for like pages i don't know what do you have to type in like flintlock and then not Fortnite. see the way i look at it and i might be old school but uh, when you do a search, uh, and I've been doing internet searches since, you know, before a lot of these people who are using the internet now were even born. Uh, when, you, when you do an internet search, it should pick up on keywords. Now, related subjects should come up, but not at the top of the list, right? If I typed in Fortnite, along with Flintlock, I would expect those to be my leading search results and, in fact, represent the vast majority of search results that materialized. Uh, just like if I typed in Flintlock, comma, French, I wouldn't expect to get Spanish Flintlocks or Germanic Flintlocks or uh, British Flintlocks or American War of Independence Flintlocks. I would expect to get French Flintlocks. The other ones might show up, but as a related topic at the very end. I wouldn't expect them to be my primary search results, and I wouldn't expect them to clog the field, essentially. Um, and I'm not sure why this is happening, okay? Uh, in, in all fairness to people who play the video game Fortnite, I'm, the game probably doesn't suck. If that many people are playing it, it must be entertaining, right? Um, I mean, you can market something, you know pretty well, but the marketing only goes so far. If people start actually using the product and it turns out it's not good, they're not going to come back and continue using it and so on and so forth. The fact that there are so many fan videos or whatever out there about this video game, it must be entertaining to many people. So probably the video game itself doesn't suck, but the effect that its popularity seems to be having on the ability of us to conduct unrelated internet searches without wading through piles of irrelevance is just, um, it, it's amazing, right? It's amazing. I, on one hand, you might say, well, this is a credit to the video game. Its popularity is such that it's, you know, affecting things that aren't even related to it. On the other hand, I would argue that that's a problem with how you conduct search results. Maybe the search results actually are a result not of the keywords and word strings and phrases, but actually, you know, a result of some algorithm that puts popularity ahead of specificity. Maybe. But then we need to say, well, what's going on, right? Um, I mean, if I type in Flintlock, what's the, what's the first thing anybody should think of if they see the word Flintlock? It should be the actual thing itself. Because that's all I typed in. Now, flintlocks in movies, flintlocks in video games, flintlocks in, you know, Treasure Island used by pirates, 
flintlocks in the American Revolution, uh, modern flintlock target shooting, uh, flintlocks in the hands of reenactors. Yes, all of these things could come up as essentially derivative topics. But, but what I'm trying to understand is how when you type in the narrowest of search parameters, you get stuff that's not even related to it. And uh, this may just be the algorithm, the, the, the algorithms they're using or whatever, but I blame Fortnite. Why the hell not, right? Um, it's just, it, I guess I'm having a little bit of fun with this, but it is, it is uh, frustrating and it is annoying, right? When you, I mean, if I were to type in, if I were to type in, let's say, 55 Chevy, right? And hit enter. Should my first search result be Grand Theft Auto 5 or whatever? No, because I didn't type in anything to do with the representation of a 55 Chevy in a video game uh, or, or the incorporation or use of it in a video game. I just typed in 55 Chevy. My first search results, in fact, the vast majority of my search results, but certainly the first, should be related most specifically to what I'm looking for. If I type in 55 Chevy and Grand Theft Auto 5 or 6 or whatever comes up, something's wrong with your search engine, okay? And I would argue that the same thing is true if you type in, let's say, you know, broadsword and the first thing that comes up is you know the old video game Bushido Blade or Soul Calibur or something right uh, for those who are old enough to remember you know Sony PlayStation the original one the I don't have a problem with video games video games are you know fun and entertaining i don't play them uh, the way i used to when i was a youngster i actually still have a working playstation but um you know it's it's not really my thing if that's your thing that's fine i'm not you know my thing is is history and biking and and you know stuff like that but um if you're going to do a search on the internet for a particular thing then I'm trying to figure out why everything except that particular thing shows up clocking your... And it's not like it's just one or two search results. It's pages and pages. And, you know, I, 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 I need to go get, like, my longsword or my cutlass to, you know, cut through this like I'm going through a jungle and, you know, cutting through the, the jungle. Um, this is... This is not... This is the 21st century, okay? Um... I'm acutely aware of how technology has advanced since, for example, the age of the flintlock or the longsword uh, to today, uh, knowing a little bit about history. We are in a position now where we can be more specific and more accurate and more precise than ever. And yet, our search results leave a lot to be desired. I might as well be throwing a dart at a board with my you know, eyes closed. And the only thing I can think of is that, again, there's a problem with Fortnite or there's a problem with how these people do searches or both. Uh, but on the surface, it just appears to be Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite everywhere. And that's not what I'm looking for, okay? <sighs> Unbelievable. People are, I honestly don't even know. Right? I mean, this is kind of a funny thing to talk about. But it is... You know, people sometimes wonder why in this day and age, when we're more connected electronically than ever before, when, when we have more access to information at our fingertips than ever before, why so many people seem either to, you know, live in a bubble and not be aware or accepting of different views, or why, why a lot of people seem to be uninformed about the facts of, you know, basic issues and, and uh, occurrences. And, and I got to wonder if it's, if it's this precedence of putting popularity before accuracy right that you know the search results you get are whatever's whatever gets the most likes or, or whatever not not whatever's what you're looking for and um you know in that sense i you know i could laugh about er fortnite is getting in the way of me finding out what i want to find out about a you know 1777 french pistol but the truth is that 
actually, this may be a symptom of a, a symptom of a deeper problem with how we access the information that's available to us online, or I should say, how the the gatekeepers of the online world allow us to search for that information, right? Um, if I type in whether it's 55 Chevy or whether it's Flintlock, and the, f the first search results and the vast majority of my search results are only tangentially related to what I'm actually looking for, uh, somebody screwed up, right? I mean, that, that's not how it's supposed to work. And I don't know, but, you know, damn Fortnite, you're, you're a nuisance. Lone Rider out.